It took a small army to fight a big blaze this afternoon in the McCall Baldwin area of the city. This is viewer video from the scene. 100 firefighters wrestled down a five alarmer after a battle that lasted for hours. The blaze thought to have started in a restaurant kitchen. And I can tell you right now that blaze is believed to be out at this hour. Fortunately, no one is believed to have been hurt, um, but take a look at the damage. It's all started right there at Rio's Noodle Bar. Um, and crews had to work quickly to keep smoke and flames from spreading through a common roof, running through three older attached units. The smoke and flame started in a restaurant at 33 Baldwin around 1.30 this afternoon. Upstairs are some housing units. Downstairs was Rio's noodle bar. People in the area said crews worked quick, quickly to get a handle on things. The thing is, like, I live a couple um, house next door to it. So, I mean, like, the, my, my biggest worry was, like, like you know, is my house okay? Um, like last time I checked, it was doing okay, but I mean the fire is spreading, so I'm a bit scared. I watched it jump to the two adjacent buildings on either side. Oh, so and you actually saw the, the actual building on fire? Yes, and then they started, and people were still sitting, the watching the fire and uh, eating lunch outside. It was very bizarre for a minute. We heard the fire engines, we saw the uh, the EMS come in, and uh, and then people just started to move around, and people were slowly being evacuated. We just kept sitting there having our lunch and watching everything unfold and it wasn't until we actually finished our lunch that they came and said you have to leave and by then it was getting pretty choky. It'll be some time before investigators will be able to get into the building to see exactly what started the fire. No crews will be here until late into the evening. Our crews will continue to work with our investigations team on both salvage and overhaul. We need to make sure that there's no hidden fire, no hot spots, and we'll have uh, we'll have crews here doing fire watch and working with investigations for a number of hours. Uh, any idea in terms of damage and just how bad it is? Because uh, these units are so tightly packed, and many of them share common walls and roofs. Um, how bad is it damage-wise? Yeah, I, I haven't actually been inside myself yet. It's uh, it's still not uh, not safe to be in there without the required personal protective equipment. So I don't have any estimate on damage at this point. That's one of the things that our investigations team will assess. No one was injured and a dog brought out of the fire scene is said to be doing just fine as well. And how's this for the resiliency of this area? It is a very busy street, lots of restaurants here. So the fire was just there, but look, right across the street, they have already put out the patio furniture and people are out there enjoying a dinner. So while there was a major five alarm fire here this afternoon, um, there's no doubt for many residents living in this area that this uh, street will be will rebound just fine. Now, coming up on City News tonight, 11, we'll speak to um, employees of the uh, adjacent businesses. They said that all they did was smell the smoke and then it started bleeding into their uh, workplace space as well. And then the evacuation began. We'll bring you some of their stories tonight at 11.